While Susie racked up the air miles in her glamorous jet-set lifestyle, I stayed at home watching a ball. The mind ball's headband reads the electrical activity in your brain. The idea is to relax and focus, and this alone triggers the ball's movement from its starting position towards the goal at the top. It's tuned in to alpha brain waves, which are generated in the brain when you're calm. The more relaxed and concentrated on this single task I was, the better I became at moving the ball. Yes! Level five. There are ten levels which the user can control, but at level seven, I was starting to feel very calm indeed. You see that? Perfecting thought control won't actually make you brainier, but it should make you more able to focus on tasks and work better under pressure. For six weeks, we sweated, vibrated, stared and frowned as our gadgets tried to improve our bodies and minds. Did it all work? Join us later in the show to find out. Oh, the bad machine stop. No, oh, I'm exhausted just watching it soon. <laughs> Don't want to go back there. Um, for the first week, I thought mine was absolutely brilliant. I really loved it. But then by the second week, I was getting a little bit sick of the watching the me, you know, the little, little like, naked yeah. yeah. So the driver person mad. I still had five that. weeks to go. I, I love the uh, the power plate because it only meant I had to do three or four half hours a week. So there's an actual reduction of the amount of time you spend working yeah, out with this machine. Three yeah. hours. And obviously having it in the front room is great because I'm, I'm, I'm like everyone else. I join in the new year, the gym, I go twice and then I don't bother. So it, it got me motivated. Yeah, I like the fact that this is really portable. I could throw it in my bag and um, use it anywhere. Get you in great. New York. I know. Whereas obviously the mind ball not quite supportable. A little bit of a fast plug it into your computer. Yeah, but never mind what we were thinking at the time. What was important actually are the results. And you can see those right after this break. Time for our last break now, but still to come. Did our six week experiment actually improve us? Could Susie possibly get any fitter? Could Jason hopefully get a bit brighter? Well, all will be revealed after the break. Welcome back. Well, it's time to get down to business. The business of gadget fitness and gadget intelligence. Yeah, this week's challenge was designed to see whether using gadgets, Jason and I could get fitter and brighter. Yeah, I had some of the most advanced tech you can get. Yeah, and I had a couple of games designed for a Nintendo console. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> but the question is, did they work? Did our gadgets make us fitter and cleverer? Let's find out. We were back at the University of Lincoln Sports Centre to measure how our fitness had changed. First, we hit the bike. This test measured our power-producing ability, how we sustain that power, and how we resist fatigue. If we were any fitter, both our power scores should get higher, and our fatigue rate should go down. I hadn't been doing cardiovascular exercise like this on my power plate, so I wasn't sure how I'd fare. You dropped. Really? Yeah, about 100 watts on your maximum power, right. by about 15 on your average power. Yeah. And your fatigue's gone up by 2%. Oh my god, some worse. I, however, was hopeful that my fitness had improved due to that running game on my Wii Fit. You've actually improved since last time. Oh, I have? Yeah. So there's been small improvement, but you've gone up from 547 watts up to 571 watts. Wow, brilliant. Okay. But your fatigue has gone up a lot more. So that means while you were able to push out more power right at the top, you declined a lot more over that 10 seconds. But no, still some improvement. <sighs> Okay. I was hoping to show my improvement by doing some manly press-ups. This is where I felt the power plate had really made a difference to my upper body strength. I didn't do these because I've got an injury in my hand, but I was willing Jason on. Last time, you got 42. This time, 72. <laughs> yeah, wow! Time again. Yeah. Next up, sit-ups test the endurance of our abdominal muscles. We should both have improved in this area. The way the power plate constantly throws you off balance means you have to use your core muscles to steady yourself. And my Wii Fit also concentrated a lot on the core muscles, particularly the balance activities like T-slalom. Okay, last one. Jason, you got 45, this time 71. Wow. That's so that's really a huge good. improvement. That's really good. Wow. And this time from Susie? 51. Excellent. So 44 last time and 51 this time. Balancing on one leg wearing a blindfold proved tricky for me. But it turned out 
Turns out my balancing skills had really improved thanks to my WeFit balance board. Our final test was a jump test, and again we both did very well. Oh, well done. But the intensive workout I'd had with the vibrating power plate meant my leg muscles had improved the most. We were able to jump high and also maintain the high muscles, so that was good. Well done. Excellent. These tests had certainly shown the fundamental difference between our two fitness gadgets. While the Wii Fit had without doubt improved Susie's core strength and balance, it was clear that my hardcore power plate was all about the strength training. Time to go back to see Dr. Funky to get our brains tested. Once again, we had to rearrange the blocks to match the patterns on the cards. Ready, steady, go! Dr. Funky before measured our speeds and monitored our performance as the puzzles got more and more difficult. To make it extra difficult, the patterns were different to the ones we'd done six weeks ago. I was hoping that the skills I'd honed with my mind ball would help me relax and really focus on the task in hand. And I was hoping that all that brain training I'd done would have sharpened up the old grey matter. Jason, the first time that you have to do this task, you did it in 160 seconds. This task, which is slightly harder than the last task, you did in 110. That's a difference of 50 seconds, which is quite a lot. But from my perspective, the person that's improved greatly is you, Susie. When you first did the task, you did the most easiest one in 20 seconds. And this time you did it in 6 seconds. And the more complicated one you did within 26 seconds, whereas it took you 80 seconds to do it last time. So it shows that the way that you're positioning things in your mind has actually altered. It certainly seemed that after 6 weeks, our gadgets have made a big difference to our performances. Yay! Brilliant. Like PS I love you. Hey, so I win the part of the brain challenge. You do, and deservedly so. Yeah, but you win the physical challenge. Thank you. I think play. the power plate deserves a great bit of care. You know, and I, I really, even now, I'm feeling the, the difference. Yeah, the one thing I would say, though, yeah. is that that is a piece of sports equipment. Yes. Well, it's this. We fit is a game, and it did improve my fitness. I absolutely agree. It's very, something. very, very impressive. Do you want to have a go? Yes, I can't wait. I'll be dying for this. I've got it on the super strength mode. All super right. strength. What yeah. do I have to do? Well, I kind of made that up. All right. 60 seconds. Just do some lunges, just like when you're skiing. So just oh, bend makes, down. Makes your voice go funny. Sounds like a Dalek. Can you do a Dalek? Yeah. Uh, exterminate. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> okay. Just lunge there. Your whole face is going like that. Oh. While you're doing this. What well, if feel you feel it on your thigh? Feel the burn. Yeah. Right. I see she just feels the burn. Ow. I'll say goodnight. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Okay, nice and deep lunges. Oh. Why am I doing it with you? Good night. That's weird though, isn't it? Good.